Hey guys, hey friends, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. We're back, turn this down a little bit, just volume still a little high on the video, but we're back with World 1, 9 megabytes. Haven't been playing that much recently. Um, hold on, right there we go. And I got our pig here, I don't, I still don't think you get uh, anything from pigs. Um, Right, there was a creeper. Yikes, okay. Uh, stay away from that. Um, but I think we should do some mining. And honestly, I was thinking about it, and we could build a bridge over there to that little area and make a house on the top. Um, anyways, I hope you all have been having a great, uh, you know, like a great day, great night, whatever you've been up to. Um... Recently, I've been struggling with a bit of an addiction that I never really would have found myself in, which is Uber Eats and uh, food ordering apps. It's the best way I can explain it. Um, you know, and it started as anyone else, you know, as it started for anything else, uh, just convenience, right? Because, you know, Uber Eats, it's just convenient to, to order food, right? And, and, you know, get it delivered to your door and eat and... I mean, we all know that when Uber Eats delivers food, it's it's not the same quality as if you would get it fresh. You know, it's kind of crappy, a little cruddy, you know. It doesn't taste as good. Holy. You're crazy. Holy moly. Um, jumping creepers. Jeepers creepers. Um, but you know, you know, and uh, here's the thing. I don't have money for Uber Eats, but I spend money that I can't use on Uber Eats because, you know, I, I don't know, I, I kind of go through the mindset, I'm like, oh, well, you know, just one more time, I can afford just one more meal to, to, to use for Uber Eats, I, I can do this, you know, I can afford this, I'll, I'll find out how to make back the money or I'll be smarter with spending, and the next day I tell myself the same thing and I keep using it. I don't use it as often as I say I do, but I use it to a up, like an amount that I really shouldn't. Jeez. Resting creepers. Um. But yeah, I, and, and I'm struggling a lot with it because, like, you know, fast food and restaurant food is obviously, you know, it's tasty. It really is, and it has such a convenience to it. You know, you kind of get addicted to it over time. Because, you know, that kind of food was made to be addicting. Um, so, you know, dealing with that is just really difficult. Um, hey, spider. You're friendly during the day. How are you today? Um, I've actually found myself um, kind of, like, craving, like, just fast food, like, to be delivered and eat it at my house. Even when I'm, like, uh, even when I've eaten, like, when I'm full which just makes me feel gross. It makes me feel disgusting, like, kind of like a degenerate, I guess, I don't know. Uh, this is a really nice, I like this hill. You know, and I don't want to feel that way. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want that, that feeling anymore. It's just been really hard because, it, I don't know, the sake of convenience, it's just, it's hard not to want, you know? Um. So getting rid of that need is, or that want, sorry, it's just been very difficult because I need to save up the money for my college tuition and for living in residence and stuff like that. I can't afford that. I mean, when I move into residence, I'm going to have to pay for all my food, everything, um, and I, I can't be spending this money right now, but here I am doing it anyways. And, you know, like I said before, I keep telling myself that this is going to be the last day, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore, but, you know. I keep, I keep doing it. Honestly, I think it's kind of, um, it's kind of really sucky, the fees Uber Eats puts on you, because, you know, something that's $4, um, will end up, will end up costing $16, which, you know, which is absolutely absurd, because, 
I'm paying for a $4 item and you're charging me $16 overall. Um, you know, let's say you get, you, let's say you get a can of, um, two cans of lemonade, okay? So $4. Um, oh, you got a small order fee, okay? There's some money added on. All right, then you got a service fee. There's some more money added on. Then you have a shipping fee. There's some more money added on. And then you have tax. It's more money added on. And then you have the tip. It just adds up. It adds up to an absurd amount. And honestly, y you can tell that the, some of those fees are really just being milked to, to profit. You know, they're being absurdly milked. Um, I mean, a lot of the time when I go on, you know, food delivery apps, I, I have a bunch installed. I just look through which gives the best price, and often it's usually off by a dollar or so. And it's just insane how much they charge you. I don't know. It's 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 weird. Um, definitely not doing my wallet any favors. That's for sure. But I'm trying to stop. You know, I'm. I want to start cooking. I want to start cooking with like my own food, my own ingredients. But you know, it's 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 the thing like you you get you you adjust to being lazy. You know, you adjust to getting your food delivered to your door. You don't have to do anything. And and then what? Then then you don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not a good thing. Um, and that's kind of, you know, it's kind of what I mean. It's an addiction, and it's a problem, and I'm really trying hard to face it, but, you know, it's not much I can do. And I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I was a pretty skinny guy. I've been gaining some weight because of it. Like I wouldn't say I'm I'm chubby or fat per se. I I'm like I'm still pretty skinny, but I'm definitely not as skinny as I was before. And it kind of started when I you know got on my Uber Eats binge. Um, and you know, I think a big a big part of that that kind of start was because of uh, COVID-19 and quarantine because you couldn't go anywhere and you know, Uber Eats was the big thing. Um, you know, because of it. And so I just ordered food. And it evolved. Um, there are some... There are some deals that I use. Um, actually, here's a really cheap one. Uh, I don't expect to get a lot of viewers. If you're in Canada, um, in Ontario, I think it... I don't know if it works outside of uh, country or, or province. If you go on Papa John's, okay, and you go on their website, and you use the code... L-U-V, capital L-U-V, 50. Um, it's 50% 50 off any pizza, which is an amazing deal. Super cheap. The value goes up the bigger the pizza you get. Um, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I'm feeding my own addiction to other people. That one's actually a good deal. Um, I used to work at Home Hardware for, for a good year. A good year and a little bit. And uh, sometimes uh, like we'd have like a little bit of a pizza day. Uh, me and the guys who work there and we'd use that code and split the pizza so it'd be like three dollars per person it was really cheap it was awesome you know those kind of deals are great you know that's like real money saving kind of tactics right there but uber eats is definitely not and you know here's a little bit of a trick too um i don't know i've been to america recently and i've had to use uber eats in america and their app is a little bit different than on than in canada it's it's its layout is different, which I find strange because Canada and America are very similar, you know, regions. Uh, you know, environmentally, maybe not so, but, you know, like uh, English speaking countries that are developed, you know, in the same way. Um, it's weird that it's different, but I know in Canada, when you go onto the app, they have a delivery fee countdown where a couple, like the, the cheaper places, uh, I don't know if it's less popular. I don't really know how the algorithm works on it, but some places will have zero delivery fee for, you know, like um, like five minutes, and you have to get your order in by then. And I think that's to really just... You save money, but I think the reason they do it is to pressure you into buying food and making a decision right there and then. Um, and, you know, I can't blame them. It works. I've, that's that's what I use, you know. even Even though I'm trying to, you know, stop ordering food i you know i still try to save money when i am um and you know tips i really i've rarely ever put zero dollars as a tip the minimum i do is one because i it's kind of scummy to not tip um 
but you know, like I said, it's hard when you try not to spend money, but it's also an addiction, right? There's not much you can do, but try and stop yourself. And here's the thing, you know, I've tried, I've tried deleting the apps, uh, but I just keep installing them again, you know? Like, I'll find myself in a situation where maybe I won't have food, uh, like, good food to make, it's just, like, crummy leftovers or not a lot of ingredients to cook from, and I'll be like, okay, you know what, just once in a blue moon, let me order some food, and then I'll keep the apps on my phone, and then I'll, I'll do it again. And it's just kind of scummy, and I wish I had something to, you know, to stop that. Um, if there's anyone else out there who's struggling with the same problem, you know, then talk to me and we can, you know, talk about it more. Or if there's anyone who was and they have found a solution or something like that, then please let me know because I'd love to know what worked for you and I'll try it myself and see if it works for me. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure why it's so dark in the video when I play Minecraft. On my screen, it's really bright. Uh, if anyone knows why, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm just clearing out this area. This is where I want my, my house to be. Um, my big house. We're just chopping down some trees. Doing some things. Were there iron blocks in this version? I don't remember. I kind of want to make like a like a... A realistic house like with all the the rooms you would have in a normal house like a kitchen bathrooms bedrooms you know washing washer dryer rooms stuff like that um, you know I think oh it's getting dark I might update the game to where we had beds because I think it just might be better if we can sleep you know we're in beta 1.0 right now um, I was kind of sad I didn't go into the alpha versions, so the door the door noise isn't the old one, which is nice, but... Alright, it's not nice, because I kind of like that noise, to be honest, but... I'll leave this up here, and we'll take a jump down. A lot of saplings, I've noticed, though. I, I don't remember this many saplings in the beta version. They give you an obscene amount. Oh, that was close. <laughs> this must be so dark for you right now. I apologize. I'll try and stay in the light areas here, but... But yeah, my, my plan is, you know, we make a bridge going into there, and it leads up, like, through a staircase, which would be, I think, personally, would be really, really cool. So we'll, like, follow this here. But yeah, you know, I typically I find, um... You know, DoorDash and, and, and Uber Eats, they have different, uh, you know, menu, uh, menu, menu items or, or, like, restaurants they serve. I've had a lot of problems with DoorDash before where they won't, um, where they won't deliver to the right address. Like, I'll, I'll see the guy outside and he'll drop it off at the neighbor's house. <sighs> Man, what a pain it is to deal with that. They'll, they'll tell me, oh, this is, I got the right address here, but it's not, like, I, I don't know, like, DoorDash, I would put in my address, and it would say, okay, we're delivering to this address, and then for some reason it tells the driver that it's at this other spot, which is kind of infuriating. Um, Uber Eats, I've never had a problem with delivery. I have had my Uber driver take my food and eat it. Like, I, I have had them not deliver it and, and keep it. Um, it's only happened to me once before, and I contacted Uber, and they did refund my money, but it took them a really long time. I've had, generally, I've had good, like, favorable, um, favorable support moments with Uber Eats. You know, I haven't typically, DoorDash has been terrible with support. Honestly, I've had garbage support with DoorDash and everything. They've just been really garbage. Um, I find it absurd that... If you don't get your food or anything with Uber Eats, they don't refund the shipping fee or like the small fees or something. They just refund how much you paid for the food, which is stupid because you never got it. It just doesn't make sense and it kind of makes me a little upset. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Make another shovel here. This 
Skip the Dishes. Uh, I think Skip the Dishes launched in Canada. I don't know if you if you guys have it in the U.S. or anywhere else. I'm, I, I might be completely wrong. Um, I don't like their app. I don't like the way it runs. I, I don't know. It's clunky. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I rarely used it. I, I used it a lot in high school because uh, A&W was really cheap to order off of there. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't, typically I wouldn't use it because it's kind of, the last time I checked, it was kind of a gross app. Like it, it just didn't, you know, didn't do it for me. Like we'll put some dirt up here to like press up against it, to, you know. You know, to make it seem like it's coming up like a dock here, you know what I mean? Cool, cool, cool. Cool, yo. Sorry, it's going to be dark here in a sec. Just got to make sure these things are nice, you know what I mean? Um, we can take this and make some planks. I forgot you can't shift click. I've never tried Grubhub before. I don't, is, don't even know if that works or not. Is it a food delivery app? Or is it just like a discount app for food? I am i don't know. I just remember they had that really cringy commercial with like the dancing people that looked like, uh, that looked like those, uh, those movies made by the guys who uh, made Despicable Me. You know what I mean? Though I never liked those movies. I mean, Despicable Me 1 was, was pretty good, but like the other movies they made were kind of garbage. Uh, did I use wooden? Yeah, I did use wooden planks. Okay. All right, awesome. And I can just, yep, fall that, fall right off. You know what I never really tried though? HelloFresh, or or any of those other. But I think Blue Apron is another one. Um, any of those other like food kits, where they where they send you to to cook food and stuff like that. I never tried those, so I don't really know if they're good or not. I've always wanted to though because I feel like it could. I mean, see that's the thing. It's still gonna waste money. Like I need to get out of this mindset. But, I, I don't know, I feel like it would be cool, you know, it, it would, like, teach me how to, teach me how to cook, I guess, if that's one way to put it, make me more creative with my cooking, because I've, I've cooked before, but I've never really tried to explore it. My brother, on the other hand, he's very explorative in his cooking, he's, he's really good at cooking. I like his cooking a lot. He, uh, does a lot of Asian foods. Like I, I'm not Asian, but he's really he's really interested in, in in Asian culture and like the foods and stuff like that. So he makes some really tasty meals from time to time, which is nice because I really like his meals. This is turning out nicely. It was every three, right? Yeah. Okay. Every three. Cool. 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 Cool beans. Speaking of um, Asian food, um. So in my town, there are a couple of those, uh, there's, <laughs> slurring my words, there are a couple of those all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant places, um, and there was a new one, or not, I don't think, it, it wasn't new, but it opened up, uh, it opened up, uh, like, a, like a while ago, like I think two or so years ago, it replaced, uh, one, one there before, they switched ownership, I think, but it's really good, it's the best I've had in my city, um, and I've gone there twice in, like, the same month. It's expensive, but it's worth it. The sushi is super fresh. Um, uh, the beef teriyaki is, is delicious. Um, was it Japanese? I think it was Japanese. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Um, I'm I honestly I'm not really sure what what Asian food comes from where. Uh, one, two, three. And I'm not trying to be, you know, like rude or anything like that. I, I genuinely don't know, and I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm sorry if I do. Um, if, if, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments, and I'll, I'll refer to it as the right thing from now on. I'm sorry if it's really dark right now. I'm doing some diving right now so I can get these, these, these poles up. Two, 
One, two, three. <sighs> but yeah, that's another thing. Like, generally outside of the, uh, the Uber Eats, you know, I also spend just too much money on eating out, like when I'm with my friends. And, you know, sometimes I'll just, like, I'll just spend money that I shouldn't be spending. You know, like, I'll buy extra things that I don't need. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't budget when I'm going out to eat food, which I, I really should, to be honest. Like, I should be budgeting. Um, but I don't. Um, I don't know. I, I need to get on top of it, really. It's, it, on, there's no excuse, and... It just, it kind of sucks a little bit because, like, uh, my friends, they've kind of noticed how much I've been spending on, like, delivery food apps and, uh, and, you know, just eating out. And they kind of make fun of me for it. And, you know, it makes me feel bad. Um, I mean, you know, I, I can't really blame them. I haven't really told them that I don't like it when they do that. So it's not really their fault, but, you know, it doesn't help. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be like this forever. I, I sh I'll, I'll break out of it. You know, it's. I will. Like, it, I believe in myself, <laughs> even if I don't see the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel right now. I believe I will one day, <laughs> and hopefully that day is soon because I can't afford it to be any more than soon. I've been thinking about talking about this for a while, actually. Um, I don't know what my upload schedule is going to be like for these kinds of videos, but usually I make one when I want to talk about something that's like plaguing my life or a problem that's been on my mind for a while. And that's just kind of what I talk about. Oh, am I out of... Wow, I'm actually out of wood. Interesting. guess we're going to go chop some more. But, yeah, I usually just talk about what's plaguing my life. And, um, and I just kind of vent out a little bit on the videos to some nice beta Minecraft, you know, in the background. A lot of topics I can talk about. That's why I try to, you know, the first video was just kind of me ranting, but I've been trying to, like, not mindlessly talk about things because there are other things I want to talk about in depth you know like like uh, things like social media addiction or you know alcoholism you know um, drug abuse stuff like that like 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 topics like that if there's anything you guys want me to talk about you know it doesn't always have to be about my life let me know in the comments and I can talk about a topic and you guys can hear my opinion on it I promise it's probably not controversial <laughs> I don't want to cut down these big trees. They take forever to cut them down. We'll keep cutting down the small ones. <laughs> it's funny. I uh, I went to Wendy's a while ago. This is fast food related story. Um, and you know I was hungry. I don't I don't really like Wendy's that much. I don't go there that often because I find that other fast food places just taste better. Um, but this one day I was just. I was really craving Wendy's, and um, I got their chicken Asiago sandwich, and it's n not, it's I, not good. I don't know, like, it, it was tasty because I was hungry, but afterwards, it just sat like a rock, and the flavor of the ranch, it's just like the flavoring of the sandwich just stuck with me afterwards in the worst possible way, and now I just, my stomach kind of, like, gurgles a little bit when I think about it, and that sounds weird. I don't know, I just... I, trust me, like, it's, I, I don't know if it's, like, like I said, like, Wendy's, you know, a lot of fast food restaurants, I guess I didn't say this before, but, um, you know, they have regional, um, specials, so I don't know if the chicken Asiago sandwich is available where you guys are from, but do not get it, okay? I heard Arby's was making, like, a curly fries vodka or something, my friend sent me, like, a post saying that, which is, sounds just completely absurd, um, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, but, you know, Arby's, you do you. I 
do have a Burger King in my city, but it's really kind of out of the way. I don't think I've actually ever seen it in person. I've just seen it on delivery apps. <laughs> Looping back again to my addiction. Um, and like my city isn't huge by any means. It's 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 a pretty nice size, but like there are some parts you just never go to. You know what I mean? You don't really, unless you live in that part of the town, you're never gonna go there because you don't need anything from there. That's kind of the gist of that part of town. And that's where that Burger King is. And, you know, just a reminder, I don't live in the U.S., I live in Canada, so things are a little bit different here. Um, which, speaking of different, the price of fast food, at least when I went to Florida, is a lot cheaper than the price, to fast, price of fast food in Ontario, Canada. Like, it's, it's crazy cheap. It's like, it's like half the price off than it is over here. I, I was honestly I was like going crazy. I was thinking wow. This is crazy. You know what? You know what's crazy though the taste of Sonic mozzarella sticks Holy when I was a young lad Nine years old and I went to Texas to visit my cousins We'd go to Sonic and get those mozzarella sticks with the marinara sauce. Ooh, They were so good and they, they were really good when I went to Florida. It was like tasting nostalgia in my mouth delicious So good. I, I honestly wish we had Sonic in Canada. Which brings me to my next point, Tim Hortons, which is ruined in Canada right now. It's garbage. So ever since Tim Hortons was sold to an American company, and you know, this has nothing to do with America. I just I just saw somewhere that it was sold by an American company. And I, I think it was actually like a, a fast food chain or something like that. I don't remember what it was, but it's just gone downhill. It's just, it's just gone really, really badly. Like the sandwiches are gross now, the soup is bad, the coffee isn't as good anymore. They changed the whole aesthetic. Like before Tim Hortons, ah, why am I walking around in circles? I'm just trying to find normal trees to cut. Before Tim Hortons would have these really cutesy Canadian like art aesthetic on them, like, like old timey stuff. It was really, really nice and it felt really authentic. And then when, when the stores, the, the company got bought, they replaced it with like modern labeling and stuff like that. And now it just kind of feels like a dead, you know, corporate, just gross shell of what it once was. Tim Hortons doesn't really feel authentically or traditionally Canadian anymore like it once was to me. It, now it just feels like something I'd get if I was on the rush and couldn't afford or get anything better. Because there's nothing else you're going to get here. Tim Hortons is the only, like, one of the only coffee kind of fast food places around that people go for breakfast. I guess McDonald's, but, like, typically you're not going to stop at a cafe shop because they tend to be more expensive. So you go to Tim Hortons and you just settle with what you get. And it really just isn't that good. One time I bought a donut from there and I took it out of the bag and the icing just... There was no icing on the donut. And I looked in the bag and it just stuck to the top of the bag. I guess that isn't technically Tim Hortons' fault, but still, I was really upset. I ate a bald donut that day. Donut with no brim, man, that's what I had, it was gross. And like, I, you know, I'm on TikTok and I keep seeing all these memes about how Tim Hortons used to be so good back in the day. Um, with that audio <laughs> about the guy not thinking that the guy uh, um, <laughs> uh, talking to his girl about how uh, the son she birthed isn't his son. It's just really funny. But it, honestly, I, I kind of, I mess with it. You know, like, I, I agree. It's Tim Hortons has really gone downhill. It's just not the same anymore. It kind of makes me sad and nostalgic for my childhood. The Timbits haven't changed much. If you don't know what Timbits are, they're like these fried balls of dough that have like icing and stuff on them. I think they're fried. And I think they're balls of dough. Yeah, probably. Um. But yeah. Man, oh man. A lot of memories from that. We should be done this bridge soon. 
Oh, and here's something else I wanted to bring up to you guys. If you want me to build anything specifically, type it in the comments. Like, I'll take build requests, and I'll try my best to build what you want. I'm not an exceptional builder. I'm okay. Like, I've picked up tips and tricks. But, you know. I'm not amazing, is what I'm trying to say. Why is there a cow underneath here? Please go away. But yeah, I'll definitely build what you want. Like I can build like a little villager mar marketplace. I don't even think villages are in this version. Um, if we do find a village, I'm going to build a wall around it and preserve it because villages have changed over the years. And it's sad. Okay, make some more stairs here. It lets you split a stack, but not, not not do it, not spread it out all at once. Thank you, Mojang. Thank you, Notch. So kind. I'm trying to think of what else. What else I don't like about Canadian fast food. There should be a lot, honestly. It's just I'm just pulling a blank right now. And you can't jump on the stairs. I should have known that. You can make fences in this version, too. My mind is very fuzzy about what was in and out of the different beta versions in Minecraft, because it was so long ago when I was a kid. For a while, we had this whole, like, Angus beef burger craze at like uh at mcdonald's which didn't really do anything i don't know in canada we have this restaurant chain called harvey's and they serve like angus burgers and they're like the most popular ones there it's not a promotion they just serve them all the time and they're a little more expensive than the regular patties because um, they're bigger they're thicker and they're, they just taste better overall and mcdonald's tries to do it every once in a while but obviously it does it worse like if we're talking food quality in terms of fast food harvey's definitely does it better um, you know, they, it's, it's one of those restaurants where, like, they'll, they'll take out your burger in front of you and ask you what you want on it. Like, kind of like Subway, and you'll choose the toppings and stuff like that. Yeah, they've been around for a very long time. Harvey's. Honestly, I, I enjoy it a lot. It's, it's a nice change if you're tired of, like, uh, you know... If you're just tired of McDonald's in general. So how many of these do we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We have sixteen, so sixteen pressure plates. Oh, right. This is sad. We need five. There we go. Look at us. Really doing our work around here. <sighs> but yeah. KFC is another one that's, that's around here, but then again, everyone kind of has KFC. KFC is everywhere. And please, please don't. Please, what? What? No, 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 no. Okay. He was not supposed to do that. Jeez. Jeez Louise. It's okay if he explodes in the water. Oh, the old Minecraft sound. How much damage I took there. Oh, we're good, we're good. Um, but yeah, KFC's around everywhere. South America, Central America, North America, Asia, Europe. Like, they're everywhere. They... They s aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Not a lot of places where you can't find them. I do want to get these torches. Like, uh, you know, I don't have enough. I definitely don't have enough coal for the torches to be spread out evenly. Or maybe I do. 
I actually might. Hold on. Oh, I totally do. No, I totally got enough. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. That is perfect. And while we don't exactly have cobblestone to, to make a path, we should honestly totally get some. That could be the last thing we do. Maybe I should invest in the stone shovel to do this a little faster. There's this really great burger priest in my town. I don't know if you've heard of burger priest before, but there's this really great location. They, uh, they do burgers, if you didn't pick up on on what the name means. Um, but really good burgers. I, I've never, honestly, like... Th there are very few places that, that I serve burgers that I enjoy. And, and burger, place, burger Priest is one of those places. They feel fresh and juicy and greasy, but in, like, a good way. You know, like a messy, kind of like, ooh, this is going to be really good kind of way, you know? Another place, uh, I don't know, I don't know what, what's exclusive to what, but there's this um, sit-down place called Montana's, where I live, and there's this, it's called the Chipotle Firecracker Burger, and the first time I had that, it was just amazing. My mouth, like, exploded with flavor, it was just, like, the best thing I've ever had in my life. I don't, like, I don't even know how else to explain it other than that it was just delicious, like, it was scrumptious. Another one was this onion jam burger that I had at Cracker Barrel so long ago. And years after, when I came back to Cracker Barrel on a trip, it wasn't on the menu anymore. And I was so depressed because I remember having it, and it was so good. I think those have to be my, like, my top three burgers. Anything from Burgers Priests, Burgers Priest, excuse me, any, uh, that, the Firecracker Burger from Montana's and that onion jam burger. I, sometimes I think I'm crazy and like it just didn't even exist in the first place because like how would I know I, I could just be insane you know like I could be losing my marbles right now and my thing broke I'll save, uh, I'll save three to make another pickaxe with. Make a quick little pick. There we go. wonder how long it's going to take to find diamonds. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Sit-down restaurants are interesting. You know, I, I don't, I like them. They're nice with friends, you know? A lot of the time when I go to eat at a sit-down restaurant, it's not because of the food, it's because I'm with friends and people I like. And here's the thing, I like going out a lot with friends, you know? I like going to sit-down places because I can sit down and talk with them. But a lot of my friends, they, I don't know, they don't really like that. They just kind of, they don't want to do anything, you know what I mean? Like, they don't, they just... They kind of want to sit around and kind of lazy or like they don't want to talk and it makes me sad because you know I, I like kind of experiencing that stuff you know what I mean anyways what can you do right they're my friends I love them if they don't want to do it then that's all right I enjoy the time I have with them so it's not really a huge deal anyways Looks like we're gonna break out the top soon here. I didn't expect it to be that fast, but here we are.
and my shovel broke. Cool, cool beans. And I, I actually think we, we came out at a good spot. Or at least it looks like it. Watch a creeper just <laughs> come out of nowhere and blow me up. Oh yeah, this is great. It's right up here. Okay, this is awesome. Put that right there. Okay, perfect. Now I got a direct connection up to there, and I can make some stone stairs and just get up there. Um, I... Oh, shoot, whoa. Good for carpet. I've noticed the animals just kind of spawn and despawn, you know, randomly. Can you please get out of my face? Thank you. So, and fences aren't really made, so you can't really capture them. I still don't have enough. Wow. I'll get some of this iron and just, you know, kind of mine some of the stone while I'm at it. I don't think there's many Arby's locations in Canada. I think there's only like two or something like that. I know there's like a Chick-fil-A and a Chipotle in Toronto. I've had Chick-fil-A. Um, you know, at first I thought it was like the greatest thing ever, but then I realized I only liked it because it tasted different than Popeye's and KFC, which are the only other two chicken places I've ever had in my life. Um, and you know, they're not that impressive either. So, you know, I guess I understand. Right, there wasn't sprint. I don't know why I'm trying that. Oh, I still made it though. I'm liking how this is turning out though. I'm liking uh, our little area. Look at this. Got a nice stone path, little dock going up here. Lakeside cabin, you know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about the Uber Eats addiction. I, I've tried a lot of stuff, but I'm going to keep on looking. I'm going to do some deeper diving online, see if there's <laughs> another method I haven't tried. And, and please, if you guys, you know, if you guys could point me in the direction of something that you think works, then you know, I'd be happy to know. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. Thank you for letting me ramble. And please, if you have any build suggestions, topic suggestions, anything you want to talk about, do, just leave it in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great night, great day, great morning, great evening, whatever. Take care.